what made okay. you decide, uh, Senator, that this was a good thing to do to extend the tax cuts now um, at a time when many of your party leadership is saying, no, not now, this is a bad time, Gary? Well, what made me decide is just looking at the state of our economy, which is uh, recovering from the recession, but nowhere near uh, as uh, robustly as we needed to recover. Almost 10 percent of the American people out of work, all sorts of bad signs for the economy. To me, it seems to be the last moment when we should be raising anybody's taxes and taking money out of anybody's pocket. They ought to have it to spend and invest. And what I'm saying is that goes not just for middle-class Americans who need the money, but also for the top income earners in our country who, after all, are the ones who spend more money and invest more money uh, than the rest of us because that's what, and that's what keeps the economy growing. So I, I, I just think uh, it's just common sense. Uh, now uh, our economy is extremely fragile. And I'm afraid that if, you, if nothing happens in Congress uh, for the rest of this year and these taxes go up on January 1st, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to knock our economy uh, off the balance that it's in now. It's going gonna, it's gonna to run the high risk of sending uh, the American economy back into a second dip of a recession. And it certainly will have a terrible impact on the stock market in which a lot of people's income, including middle class Americans, uh, is based. So, uh, um, you know, different circumstances. Right, right. Uh, but to me, this is the medicine that's necessary right now for our economy. Don't raise anybody's taxes in a weak and fragile economy. So, and so that raises.